Hello to my viewers. My topic today is about auxiliary equation. This topic is under differential equations. This math is intended to the students who are majoring in mathematics and engineering students. So I have here the question. Find the particular solution. So I, number one, circle brackets d squared minus 2d minus 3 times y is equal to 0. Where the conditions are when x is equal to 0, y equals to 4, and y prime or the first derivative will be equal to 0. So first thing to do is I need to distribute this one, one by one. Okay. So this one will be d2y, then minus 2 dy minus 3 y is equal to 0. Then I will make this one into homogeneous linear equation. So this will be d2y over dx squared minus 2 dy dx minus 3 is equal to 0. So in auxiliary equation, we need to transpose this one or we have to relate this one dy dx will be equal to m. So in this case, this will be m squared minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. Then, I need to factor out this trinomial. So I need to erase at the top. So, to factor out m squared, m squared minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. So, by using our factoring in algebra, so this will be m minus 3, then m plus 1. Because factors of 3 are 1 and 3. So, it depends on the signs. Because if this is negative, so the greater number must be having a negative sign. So let us check if this is correct. This is negative 3m. Then this will be m. So the middle term is 2m. So this is correct. Negative 2m. Then next is need to equate 0. So I can have now my general solution. No, no, no. Wait. So solving first the root. m minus 3 is equal to 0. Then m plus 1 is equal to 0. So, m is equals to 3. Transpose this one to the right. That will be positive 3. And then this one transpose to the right. This will be negative 1. So, therefore, my roots are 3 and negative 1. So, I can make now my general solution. y is equals to c1e raised to the negative x plus c2e raised to the 3x. So, this is now my general solution but we are asked the particular solution because there are the conditions we are given the conditions so the condition we have x equals 0 and y equals 4 and y prime is equals to 0 so when y is 4 so this will be 4 then c1 e e to the 0 because this trans, uh, this will substitute 0 so plus c to e 3 times 0 so this will be 4 c1 e to the 0 plus c to e to the 0 and we know that e to the 0 is equals to 1 so 4 equals c1 times 1 plus c2 times 1 so I have here c1 plus c2 so this is my equation one okay let me erase this one then next is i need to differentiate the general solution so i can make now y prime or dy dx is equal to differentiate this will be constant times this one so the derivative of this one e raised to negative x is 
negative 1 or this will be negative e to the negative raised to the negative x. Then plus this one derivative c2 derivative of 3x will be 3. 3 and then e to the 3x. So this will be negative c1 e to the negative x plus 3 c2 e to the 3x. Okay, when y prime, what is y prime? 0. And then negative c1 e to the 0 plus 3 c2 e to the 3 times 0. So this will be 0 is equal to negative c1 e to the 0 plus 3 c2 e to the 0. Note that e to the 0 is equal to 1. So this will be 0 minus c1 this will be plus 3 c2 so this is my equation 2 okay so next is i need to equate equation 1 and equation 2 equation 1 is 4 minus c1 plus c2 and then equation 2 will be 0 minus c1 plus 3c2 using our algebra so we have to find the value of c1 and c2 so this will be cross out because c1 minus c1 that will be 0 so 4 plus 0 that will be 4 then this will be this is c2 plus 3c2 this will be 4c2 and then this will be 4c2 equals 4. So divide by 4 both sides. This will be cross out. So c2 equals 1. Now solving for c1. Solving for c1. So substitute. Substitute c2 which is equal to 1 to equation 1. So our equation 1 was 4C1. So what is our equation 1? Sorry. Equation 1 is 4 is equal to C1 plus C2. Now C2 is equal to 1. So 4 is equal to C1 plus 1. And then this uh, transpose. So this will be c1 is equals to 4 minus 1 then c1 equals 3 so i can have now my y is equals to substitute right so this will be c1 e to the negative x plus c2 e to the 3x so this will be y is equals to what is my C1? C1 is 3. So this will be 3. And then E to the negative X. Plus C2. Where's my C2? It's 1. So this will be C2 E to the 3X. When? X equals 1. So we need to simplify this one. So Y is equal to 3 E to the negative 1 plus uh, wait 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 so this is uh, this is wrong this it should not be it's only e so e raised to the 3x wait, wait, 3x so substitute by 1 so this will be 3 e to the negative 1 plus e to the 3 so by using our calculator the value of e raised to the negative 1 is 0 0.3678 and then the value of e to the 3 is 20.086 so I need to substitute so this will be 3 times 0 0.3678 plus 20.086 
Okay, multiply this one. So this will be 1.1034. You can use calculator to make it faster. Plus 20.086. So my final answer is 21.1. 1894 and that's all